Oh yeah, so you know, start the 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 the, the, the uh, one coffee is everyone gets one for free. New players get two for free, uh, and then uh, they cost uh, 35, 40 yen per per copy. I think you can buy as many as you want. I actually don't know. Or is it buy two? Whatever. If you buy two, you get everything anyway. So yeah, blah 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 bunch of Japanese stuff. I don't fucking know. Uh, uh, everyone gets one for free by doing the missions. So uh, you get uh. You do uh, 10 character fights, 10 KVP, uh, gotcha, 10 times, and you get the you get you do all these missions. You get the medal that can exchange for any of the super decks, uh, and uh, doing each of these missions also gives you one pack. So the gotcha 10 times is basically gotcha seven times. All right, so the roll up, 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 up. So uh, this one is really bad, minus the Gans a lot. And blaster blades, I guess. These, these, these are these are a pair. These are a pair. So, uh, if you're buying this one, you're basically buying it for Gansaw blaster blade, or not even buying it, or just get getting it. If you get the if you get the Rapali one, you're getting it for Gansaw blaster blade. Uh, I guess if you care to play Duel and Zap later on, you probably need the Ash Reverse as well. But uh, yeah, uh, this is basically Gansaw blaster blade the deck right there. Uh, this is shit. Don't bother. This is shit, don't bother. This card, this card was free and it's not that good. This card is free and it's not that good. Uh, Tom's in the coupon shop. Uh, this shit's garbage. Yeah. Uh, don't, don't eat, this, this is like, this is the one you get if you literally only need stuff from OTD for, for whatever reason. They have everything else. But yeah, this one, stay, stay, this is like probably one of the worst ones. Uh, uh, this one's actually pretty good though. I, I think the Revenger one's actually really good because you, ha you get like the three core cards. Uh, if you if you're like a new player and you're like starting a new account, uh, get you get two of these. You roll on the on the upcoming banner for uh, for the uh, for the uh, PVD PVD abyss, and bam, you have you basically have the new deck. Uh, you're missing. What, what, I don't even think you're missing anything if you actually do that. No, no, no. new players get two copies, so you get a playset. If, if if you're a new player, you get. Two medals, so you can exchange for two copies of the deck. So, so you get a playset of everything if you if you buy two of the same thing. So yeah, if you're a new player, uh, yeah. So uh, I guess we'll go back from. If you're a new player, I'd stay away from this one. If you're a, if you're already playing, and you're just looking for Ganslot, this one is perfectly fine. Uh, you basically get this just for Ganslot. Uh, stay the fuck away from this one. Whether you're a new player or not, this one is garbage. Uh, if if you've been playing for a while, you probably already have Revengers done. So, um, unless you're still missing stuff, I don't, as a as like a not new player, I'd stay away from this one. But as a new player, this one is really good because, like I said before, uh, you get. If you get two copies of the deck, you just you get like the entire deck done. You get four, four, over four Tartus. So you get four Tartus, you get four Blaster Dark Avengers, you get four Raging Forms, you get four Mordrids, you get Playset PGs, you get Playset Adorns, and then you just need the the, the new uh, PBD, PBD Abyss and you're done with the deck, pretty much. So uh, if you're a new player or you're missing stuff and you want to play Shadows, this one is really good. I actually recommend this one a lot for new players. This one is basically the same thing as the shadow one. If you're a new player and your and your goal is to start and you want to play gold, you pick two of these up. You open a new set for the bluish flame stuff and you have the deck right there. Cause uh, uh, cause uh, in my, uh, regardless of how many cores you play compared to garments and stuff like that, you you wouldn't play breaker against what in in the new deck anyways. So not nothing nothing lost there. Uh. You get the Garmors, which you will play. You get the Zeniths, which you will play. And you open a new set for Percival's and uh, Percival's and uh, what's his face and uh, and uh, fuck uh, Aglavale and done. Your, your deck is done, pretty much, or more or less. So this one's pretty good. Uh, if you're if you're missing like Zeniths for whatever reason, but more importantly, if you're missing Garmors, you can actually just. Get this for Garmors. I think Garmors is definitely worth it if you're missing Garmors. Oh yeah, and uh, and yeah, if you're missing Balance, you can also just grind up from the coupon shop because he's also free there. So yeah, uh, I think overall the gold one is the best one. If if you if you're a new player and you have no idea what to get, I think 
overall, the gold paladin one is the best one. You get two of these and you dig a new banner for the Percival and Aggro Veils and the cores. And uh, you have a finished deck. So yeah, this one is really good. Uh, I don't know shit about angels, but I know these cards aren't very good, so... Uh, I guess if you want to play angels with Danielle's pretty good, question mark. Uh, I get this one if you want it. Uh, I get this if you want angels and you're missing Danielle's, I guess. Just like with the Royal Paladin one where you're missing uh, Gan when you're missing Ganslots, you, you get this one for the Danielle's. And then... Uh, Genesis? Uh, this one's okay too, actually. Yeah, this, this, this one's okay too. Uh, the the biggest thing that this one missing is ciders. There's no ciders in this, in this, in this so you still have to dig an old banner or craft your four ciders for the deck. But uh, if you want to play Genesis, uh, you get four Minervas, four Angelicas. Assume you've got two copies. Uh, four Chamomiles, and then you just open uh, set 18 for uh, Ezreal Seal and Nyx. So if you want to play Genesis, this one's good too. The only problem on this one is uh, like again, you're missing the uh, you're missing the uh, what's her face? You're missing the uh, ciders. But other than that, this, this one's pretty good too. Oh, Cowgirl. Oh. You pick this one up if you're missing. This one is... If you get two of these, you can't build a, conf a confident deck. You're missing, like, some pretty important cards. Well, I I I'd say at least. Uh, mainly you're missing Dio. Uh, you're missing Base Overlord, which he is free in, like, a, a bajillion different ways, so I guess that's the biggest problem. But you're also missing, uh... You're missing, like, a Berserk or a Burnout, which is just a one-up, I guess, but whatever. Uh, if you want to play Dote, you're missing those. But yeah, uh, I, guess, I guess this one's okay. It's okay, you get, you get the strikes, you get the bellies, uh, you get the PGs, you get the Omnises, you get the Nobels, but realistically speaking, I'd only get this if I was missing Nobels. Yeah, it's okay, it's okay. It's not, uh, it's not terrible, but eh. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh, uh, Erad's Omega Lol. E rats will make a little. Yeah, uh, E rats suck, so I'd, I'd stay away from this one. The, the cards they give you aren't bad by any means. If you want to play E rats, this deck is perfectly fine, but uh, uh, E rats will make a little. That's all I have to say. Eh, yeah, that's what this are okay too, I guess. What do they give you? Holy shit, this deck is terrible. But, but that, that aside. That aside, uh. The Blau stuff, uh, you get Blau's, which is like, oh, is it like a playable deck, but it's not amazing either, so... Eh? Uh, I, I, I'd honestly stay away from this one, too. Oh my god, can I not, not be like this, please? Can I cooperate with you, please? You know, as much as I fuck, I, I, I shit on Deep Blue, as much as I hate Deep Blue, this one is legit not that bad. You, you get everything you need to play this deck. If you get too obvious. You get a place that I've raised, you get a place that have great die, die Kaiser, you get Shadow Kaisers. I guess I guess you'd be missing uh base Dayushas, but those are in the coupon shop if you want them. So I guess if you want to play D Police, this one's not that bad, but uh, the problem lies there and D Police is not good, so take that as you will. This one actually is good. This is the one I'm probably gonna get myself, but that's because I'm missing a lot of long term stuff, but this one is okay, you get a confident playable deck. You're missing Nebula Wars, but that's, that's like whatever, I guess. But I mean, you, you'll get up with a place that Palladium. You'll end up with Infinite Zeros, you'll end up with a place that Chaoses. They're all, these are all pretty good triple rares. You'll get a place that Colonies and Radons, so that's pretty good too. So, uh, Blaine Joker one's actually okay too. Uh, unlock, unlock isn't everywhere, so uh, this one is actually okay as well. Uh, this, this is one I could recommend as well. Raise you on heal lol. Uh, uh, we don't know what the Amon Legion does yet, but uh, if you want to play DI, you probably will want the cards in here if you don't have any of the DI stuff because uh, you want you need chariots for your heal and you need and, and if you're gonna play Amon, you'll need reverse Amon as well. So. Uh, this one's actually not bad, but only if you're playing to play DI, and you're missing these cards. If you're not playing to play DI, I wouldn't bother with this, but if you want if you want to play DI, this one's actually pretty good. You do get 
Uh, two pretty poor cards. Uh, Rage is kind of shit now, though, so please ignore him. <laughs> this one is a mess. I'd say I'd say the fuck away from this one too. This one is terrible. Though, do do not get this one, unless you want Pale Moon Mask. But that that applies to all of them. <laughs> this one is fucking terrible. Oh, uh, we oh we can't we can't deconstruct the Rages anymore. That was only for the month that uh, that they said to get a compensation for. So you're stuck with those Rages. And then this one's terrible. You don't play Eva in any confident deck. Uh, Trapezius is a rank award, and Fortress is like okay at best. You might play him later on, but. Uh, this one is pretty bad. I'd stay the fuck away from this one, too. Uh, fishies! Uh, this one isn't actually bad. This, this one is high-key not that bad. Mainly because you get Rowan's. Because Rowan can be thrown into, like, anything. You just clone PGs with it, so... Uh, if you want to play Fish, I do think this one is pretty good. Fishes aren't very good, but if you want to play Fish, this one's actually pretty good. You get two Rowan's, you get, uh... The grade three, I don't remember the names of these two cards, but yeah. If you're getting this, you're getting it for the Rowan's pretty much. I even I even thought about this. Yeah, but uh, uh the, my biggest problem with this is they split the arts up so it looks really ugly. But, yeah. Uh yeah. Uh, you get it for the Rowan. Our cool force. Uh oh this one actually isn't that bad either. Oh uh, yeah, this one is actually pretty good as well. Uh, all the all the great threes that you uh, all the great threes that you get are like pretty good in uh, in uh, in the uh, reverse maelstrom and the glory and the dia and then you get a really good double rares too so you get a uh, uh, you get a uh, wheel salt and the uh, basil which is okay and then algo which is also okay so yeah uh, if you want to play aqua force and you're missing all those ults I recommend this one too this one has a lot of the old staples in it but uh, if you already have, if you have this stuff it's kind of whatever. Uh, although I don't think you can build a confident deck out of just these cards though, like just slapping two of these together, because you're. I still think you play the uh, base mill terms in the deck, but not the hearing or there. It's okay. It's not amazing. It's not terrible. Uh, and the last one, great nature. Uh, stay the fuck away from this one. This one's also terrible. Uh, you don't play players anymore. I don't think you should play Shadow either. Same with Blue Reverse. Uh, the cock is okay. And then all the other stuff is like low rarity. Fuck Bill is in the coupon shop, so yeah. Uh, I'd say the fuck away from this one too. And that's it. Uh, so... Obviously, if you just want mats, you pick the one for the clan you want mats for. Uh, but if you're a new player, I recommend the gold- I recommend, uh... Uh, uh gold... Shadows... And I guess Link Joker is okay too, but I think I think if you're a new player, the best two to get are Gold or Shadows, followed by like Link Joker, probably as the third one in my opinion. If you're like a new player, but uh, Gold and Shadows plus stuff from the upcoming set is definitely the way to go if you're a new player in my opinion. Because you get two, so you get everything. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So uh, this one is the best one. This one, I think overall this one's the best one, and then followed by this one. Uh, I guess if you plan to play Seekers and you don't, and you don't want to like open Q4 to get the Gans slots and stuff like that or craft them, uh, I guess you could get two of these for a playset of Blades and Gans slots, and then and then just open the set 18 for the Seeker port. Which I guess that's one way to do it too. So I guess this one's fine too if you want to play Seekers, but you get a bunch of extra cards you don't do anything with, being all the Jewel Knight cards. So yeah. Uh, yeah, th th those are my thoughts on the super decks. Yeah.